All right, I'm here with Charlie Miller at the Cantec West contest. Charlie just got done winning the Pwn to Own contest for taking down Safari on the Mac. Uh, he's not allowed to talk about exactly what the details of the vulnerability are, but Charlie, tell me exactly what happened when you, uh, it took you about five seconds, it seemed like. Yeah, so uh, I gave the guy a URL, he entered it into his browser. So you can imagine that's a scenario like someone sends you an email and you click on it or, or uh, you, know, you type in a URL. So anyway, his browser goes to the site that, that I control. Uh, I was able to take control of his browser. I opened up a port on his computer that I could connect to, uh, and I could run whatever commands I wanted. So I had a shell, and uh, I could have just as easily had it connect to me if you had like if you're going to say like, oh, you know, this firewall will stop it. So that part doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, I could run whatever commands I wanted. I did not have physical access, contrary to what I see people talking about. So this would just be like you're sitting in your house, click on a link, and uh, you know, then I'm running whatever I want on your. And even though this all happened in like, you know, less than 10 seconds in real time, how long did it, the research process behind all of this and, you know, you, you're giving a talk tomorrow where you're going to talk about this fuzzing thing you did, this project you did, where you found 20 vulnerabilities in, in Mac OS X. So there's, there's a lot of research that goes in on the front end of this. Yeah, absolutely. So of those 10 seconds, probably like two seconds to find the bug, four seconds to exploit. No, just kidding. So, uh, yeah, it probably took me... Um, so I was looking for lots of bugs, and so it, 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 the fuzzer I, I wrote ran for three weeks, and it found lots and lots of bugs, which I'm going to talk about tomorrow. And uh, the, uh, so I don't know exactly when I found this particular bug, but uh, the, and then to write the exploit was a few days, you know, two three days of work. So um, I mean, the, you know, the thing to worry about is this was a, a computer that was fully patched, just like your computer probably at home. Right. So. Uh, you know, the problem is, like, what do you do to defend yourself against these things? Because, you know, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, right? Other people are going to have these things, and, you know, it's sort of worrisome because I use a Mac, and I don't want people to, to, you know, break into my computer. Right, and a lot of the other people that are finding these things aren't bringing them to conferences and showing them off publicly. Right, and, you know, like I said, so I found, like, 20 bugs, right? And I doubt there were 20 bugs. <laughs> right. you know, there's, there's probably hundreds. And so, uh, you know, one of the reasons I do this is to try to encourage Apple to, to you know, do more more and thought about the way they design things and about the security of their system because you know, I use Macs and I don't want to get owned. So. And how's that uh, that encouragement process working so far? It, you know, <laughs> it, they've improved. I, I, you know, I doubt it had anything to do with what I said probably, but uh, seriously, if you look back at the history of Pwn Known, so this is the fourth year. Right. The first year, uh, this was before Leopard, and I guess it was Tiger, so they had no exploit mitigations at all. Um, so then la or two years ago, they had Leopard and they had uh, ASLR, which is a uh, randomization of memory. So that, that made it a little harder, but it still went down. And then the same thing last year. And then this year they have Snow Leopard, so they have ASLR and Depth, which means uh, it protects the memory from being executed. And so they, they are improving and, and catching up. But if you look at, say, like Windows 7, right, or even Vista, they, they had ASLR and Depth a long time ago. Right. And uh, theirs is actually better, too. So if you look at the details, there's, there's things that aren't randomized in Mac, and there's places you can't execute on Mac. So uh, they're still catching up to Windows, and that says something, right? So they need to, in my opinion, crank it up, get ahead of, of Windows, and make this thing secure. All right.